So today I am going to walk you step by step on transferring over to a Tello account. We're going to be opening up a brand new account and we're going to also be transferring over a phone number. Now I'm actually going to be doing this in real time. So if I run into any hiccups, you're going to see this and I'm going to make sure I cover it all for you. So hopefully your transition will be just a little bit easier than mine as I'm of course recording this for you. Now, as we go through this, if you want to go ahead and sign up for Tello, I will have a link for you in the show notes down below. Using that link will help support me out so I can make more free content just like this for you and support you through your processes, whether you're trying to save money or just looking for a different carrier. Now, the first thing we're going to do is hop over to the website. So when you click that link in the show notes down below, this is going to be the website that you see here, of course, with Tello, and you can see with their unlimited plans or whichever plan we want to go with. Now, the phone number I'm transferring is actually a secondary line. So if I mess some things up, it should be pretty solid here for us. So again, this is where you're going to go ahead and get started. Now, if you want to go with the unlimited plan, you can click unlimited. For us, we're actually going to go with a little bit more of a basic plan here on this phone that we're going to be using. So I'm going to click on see more plans. Now, again, I actually have not even created my account or anything. So I'm actually walking you step by step. And when we transition to the phone, I'm also going to show you the phone step by step process as well, too. Now, with this phone that I'm going to be having this on, I actually don't need any data and I only need text messages and a few minutes. So you can see here, I'm going to get this as low as five dollars. My current one is charging me quite a bit more. Uh, so I want to switch over to this. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on I want this plan. Now, this is the first thing it's going to have us do here. It looks like we're going to have to log in, but there is a section right over here. I'm going to actually highlight it that says I'm new. That's what I'm going to click on. So that way I can go ahead and create a brand new Tello account. Now, you can see right over here, there are ways for us to log in with Facebook or Google or Apple. Uh, and then you can also choose to just go ahead and plug in all your information. Now, for this video and the simplicity, I'm going to go ahead and fill these things out so we can see this. If you want to go ahead and jump a little bit faster, of course, you can always just sign in with whichever one of these options might work best for you. So for here, it looks like it's going to need our first and last name, an email address, as well as a password. And it does give you some requirements for the password. Then we're going to confirm the password. And then if you are using the link down below, it should be good. But if there is a referral code, I'll leave that in the notes as well for you. So you can go ahead and plug in a referral code. It usually will give you like a $10 bonus as well too. So hey, save even more money when you can, right? And then we're going to have the option right here to check off this where it says stay in touch, which I'm going to do. And then right over here, it says by opening an account, we are agreeing to the terms and service. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these pieces out right up here at the very top. And then I'm going to click on join Tello and I'm going to show you what that next step is going to look like. All right. So the next page here is going to be the checkout page. Now the very top here says my number and I took a second to go through this because I was like, I want to transfer my current number over. So the only option it gives me is the new Tello line. But then when you actually go down right over here, it says a new phone number will be provided by Tello. You can bring your old number after the service has been activated on your online account. And I freaked out for a second because I was like, I really want that phone number. So just something to keep in mind as we're going through this. Now you're going to see the total here is a little bit more than the $5 a month, but that's mainly because of the SIM card and then the taxes and surcharges. So keep that in mind. This is just kind of like an activation. And then after that, it should just be the $5 a month or whatever your price is for your plan. Now, if we look down here, it's going to ask us to go ahead and put in the address over here. So we're going to put in our local address. And then down here, it's going to uh, tell us about the Tello SIM. And we have two options. We either have a physical SIM card that they will ship to us with the address that we plug in here, it looks like. Or we could do the eSIM option, which is going to be the same to uh, total dollar cost, but we're going to have it instantly available in our Tello account. So from everything I know, not every single phone has eSIM just yet. A lot of the iPhones do. And then uh, Android phones, it's kind of a little bit more of a mixed bag. Now, what I ended up doing was I double checked with my phone over here. I don't know if it's on screen or not, but I double checked with my phone beforehand to make sure that this was available for eSIM because I wanted to do this all at one time and not wait for that uh, physical SIM card to come in. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the eSIM option right over here for me. And it looks like things just changed. Actually, that just kind of changed right there for us. So. Uh, right over here, it says, make sure your phone is Tello ready. So we can go ahead and plug in the IMEI number, which you find in your settings for your phone, or you can see here, you can dial this number on your phone to get that information. So I would probably recommend doing this if you haven't already, and then click on check. And then down here, it's going to go ahead and show our plan again. We can change this. It looks like if we absolutely need to, and then go through that process. So let me go ahead and fill out my address. And then as far as check out, I'm trying to see where the checkout will be. 
I think it actually is going to require me to go through this, even though I already know that my phone's going to work. So I'm going to go plug in my IMEI number, plug in this, and then I'll show you what the next step is going to look like. Also, really quick heads up, when I did plug in my phone number, or not my phone number, my home address, you can see right over here, it does let you know what your coverage looks like for indoor and outdoor as well too. So just something to keep in mind as you're going through that. All right, so I zoomed in here just a little bit more for us. So I plugged in my IMEI number, and you can see right over here, it says the phone is compatible with the Tele network, which is great. And then the phone is eSIM compatible. It does have this little warning here saying that your phone might be locked or not. They couldn't tell. Essentially, that means you might have money on it or you or you might owe money on it. And if that's the case, it might not be able to transfer. I know that this one is flat out uh, fully paid for. So we're going to be good on that end. All right. So I zoom back out a little bit. And then after we did that, the testing with the phone, which actually was required for us to be able to move on again, even though I knew the next section that popped up is the billing information. It showed up at the very bottom here. So it'll, it will have some of your information filled in for you. Uh, you're just going to have your contact number here if you would like to put it in, but we are going to need our address, even though we have it up earlier. For some reason, it's going to have us put it in again. And then over here, the next button is going to be here for us to go ahead through the calculation process. I'm going to fill this in and then click on this button here and I'll show you what the next step looks like. All right. So after I filled in that and then hit check, it did bring us back to, again, the same page. And I just had to scroll down a little bit more now. And now we have the option for the payment method. And as you can probably see here, if you saw earlier, our taxes and surcharges actually did go up a little bit based off of our location. Yay on taxes. And then right over here, it's going to give us the option to go ahead and fill in with a credit or debit card. But we also have the option, which I love here. You can do Google Pay, PayPal, or even Venmo as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this information out here for us. And then I will actually, you can also even check off here for emailing 48 hours before charging. And then the save this payment method is actually locked on here. So if you're going to go with a credit card or debit card, it will require that. And then once we go ahead and fill all that information out, we're going to click on finalize order right over here. And it has that total, which should match, match up with the total over here as well, too. So let's go do that. And I'm going to show you what the next step looks like. All right. So we're here now on our order status page and we're going to go ahead and add our security pin after we're done with our process here. And what we want to do is follow these steps over here. So the first thing is to go to my Tello account, but we're going to be staying on the website. So we're not yet hopping over onto the phone just this moment. So we're going to hop over there and then we're going to go to my SIM section and then we're going to locate our QR code. Now, obviously I can't do this with you in real time at this moment, but I will once I hop over to be able to follow through on these steps. And after that, we're going to go on our device and go to our settings and find our ad SIM. So this part, I will kind of go through those steps with you. So I'm going to go find my QR code. All right. So I actually did hop over here onto the my Tello account. I logged in with that email and the password I created. And you can see your new number. Now, keeping in mind, like myself, I want to transfer my old number over. So for now, this is just going to be kind of like our temporary number on this account for just a moment. And what we want to do, it says here for us is under there, we want to go to my SIM selection, which it looks like it's going to be right over here for us. You can see it says my SIM. Let's go ahead and click on this. And it looks like right over here, we did find our eSIM QR code that they are asking us to find. So obviously I have it kind of like blurred out a little bit there for you. So you can't steal my SIM card here. All right. So from there now it's going to have us go onto our phone. So let me go ahead and switch that over that way. Boom. We are now on our phone. So let me go ahead and read through this a little bit. So it says on your device, we're going to go to our settings. So just in case, so we are here on an Android phone, but if you're on your iPhone, just go find your settings, right? It usually looks like a little gear. And then from there, we want to go ahead and find our eSIM slash SIM. And then from there, we want to go ahead and I'm just reading off this. It says scan the QR code using your phone's camera and activate manually by following the steps here. All right. So I got my little mouse here. Like I said, we're going to click on the little gear shift. And again, if you're on iPhone, this is going to be the same thing. Just find your settings or you can go ahead and search for it as well. Let's go ahead and click on our gear shift. Now, every phone is going to be a little bit different here for us, but of course we are in our settings and you can typically also search in your settings. So ideally you might want to put in SIM, S-I-M. Otherwise, it's going to be in where you see over here, it says network and internet. Let's go ahead and click on this. And then for our section here, we actually see where it says Sims. But again, if you type this in, you should ideally find this section as well. Let's go ahead and click on this. And now from here, we do see that we have one SIM on here, but we want to click on add SIM. Now for us right here, it's just kind of going through a little quick setup here for us, but we can just go ahead and click on setup in eSIM. 
Now you might get this prompt just as much as I am right here. You can see it says you can use two SIMs on one phone. You can click no thanks or you can click on yes if you effectively want two phone numbers on one phone. So either option I believe is just gonna go ahead and take you to the next section. Now next up here it's gonna ask for you to confirm the network and you can see here these are just some of the main ones. We can click on use a different network. And when we went ahead and did that it actually just brought up our QR code scanner. So we can go ahead and scan the QR code that we have on our Tello website. I showed you a little earlier. It was a little scribbled out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan my QR code and I'm going to show you what the next step is going to look like. So you can see right over here, it says set up your Tello eSIM. Obviously you picked up on which network we were gonna be on. If for any reason it was incorrect, you could say use a different SIM, but everything looks good here. So we're gonna click on set up here on the bottom right hand. Again, it might be a little different on your screen, but ideally you should be seeing similar things. So here it's just showing that we are setting up the Tello eSIM for us. It's just gonna take a few moments. All right, and here it says activate your eSIM. It says go to settings to turn on your Tello eSIM. And at the bottom right hand side, you can see where it says settings. We're gonna go ahead and click right there. Now we got bumped right over back to where we saw sims earlier. And now you can see Tello and it is currently off. So we're gonna to toggle here. And from here, we can go ahead and just toggle this on and then click turn on and it looks like it's switching to Tello here in real time. So here it's just asking us, and you might not have this show up because we have two SIMs on this phone here for us, but it says if you switch to Tello, Verizon will no longer be used for mobile data. So that's just on our end here. We're gonna say no thanks for our example. And then again, this is just giving us a little bit more insight for mobile data for us. We're gonna hit no thanks. This is just saying to switch over. And right over here, it looks like our SIM card has been activated. So I'm gonna go and kind of run through some of these little settings here for us, and then I'm gonna test out the temporary phone number, and then we're gonna continue on with switching over over our old phone number on Tello. All right, so we went through and just did some testing on the temporary phone number so we can make sure everything was connected. And right here, I just did a couple of messages back and forth and everything looks like it went through properly for us. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna also be porting over our old phone number into this new Tello account. All right, so now we're actually back on the Tello website itself. We're doing this on desktop, as you can see here. And we're still on the My Sim page, and you can see the very next section right over here is going to be with porting. So right over here, I'm assuming, is what we're gonna be able to do to port over our old phone number to have this over here. So let's go ahead and click in this section. And that's gonna take us over here to the new page. And you can see it says port in. It says bring your phone number to Tello. So we're gonna plug in our phone number here, and we're gonna check to see if it's available for us to port over. Again, this is all brand new for me. I'm doing this just as you can see here in real time. So I'm gonna plug that information in and click on check and I'll let you know what the results are. All right, so I put in my number and it said that my phone number can be ported over. So it says, obviously it covered it up here, but it says can be ported to Tello and will replace the temporary phone number that they gave me when I created the account. And it says when it will be valid until a certain time frame. I guess that's if I don't do it right away. So if we actually scroll down here over here, it's gonna have us fill out all this information and we gotta make sure everything is correct. So such as our account number, our porting pin. So we have to log into our old account that we're transferring from and put in a pin, uh, which I think if we, most companies will have the ability to find that pin. If not, we gotta contact them, hopefully not. And then right over here, there's a little checkbox saying, hey, we understand that we're replacing this phone number with that phone number and then everything will go through. Keeping in mind that it says right here, it can take anywhere from one to five business days, just depending on that. I don't, I can keep up maybe with a little tag over here, how long it took me to actually do the official port over of my old phone number. So we went ahead and put all this information in and let's go ahead and click on continue. All right, so once we hit continue, this is the next screen we got to. You might've seen a little box that showed up and then it goes away pretty quickly, but you could see here right over on this yellow box, it says status, it says port in progress. So it could take just a little bit of time to transfer over. So in the meantime, we could still use that new number we had until the account transfers over into the Hello account from our previous provider. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I will have a link in the show notes down below for you to go ahead and jump over to that landing page. Plus that link helps support us out to make more free content just like this. Now, speaking of free content, we wanna show you more ways to save money. So we're gonna post another video right over here on screen for you to keep on learning.